This is Will, a young and talented doctor whom her superiors are foreseeing to become the chief surgeon in the near future. This one here is Will's mother, Wei Lan, a middle-aged widowed woman who is discreetly setting Will up with her friend's son. Their family belongs to a wealthy Chinese community that immigrated to America. This community holds several parties every year wherein every one of them are expected to attend. Will's grandfather as a respected professor of their community begins to deliver his pitch. During that, Will notices from the upper floor a mother fixing her adult daughter's appearance. As she looks at them for the second time, she no longer sees them in the same spot. Her eyes find them joining the people on the ground. She keeps looking at them that the daughter meets her eyes. If the woman has not smiled at her, she wouldn't even realize that her eyes are fixated on them. When the speech is over, the son of her mother's friend approaches her for a dance. Their mothers think their setup is a success, which in reality is the contrary of it. Norman, Will's friend, whom she had been set up with long before, saves her from the awkwardness. Norman introduces the woman as his cousin Vivian, a big deal ballerina. In this party, aside from dancing and buffet eating, gossiping is also something the people can't get rid of. The woman's current topic is Vivian's mother, who they feel pity for, for having an ex-husband who has a new wife, 20 years younger than her. And without them knowing, their husbands also share the same topic. Will ends the dance at her mother's call. They leave the party ahead of everyone because Waylan is not feeling well. On Will's way to work, little Yu gives her a bag of herbs. He says Waylan asked his father to give her dose to improve her fortitude for marriage. In the hospital, while Will is finally reaching for her back pocket, Vivian surprises her from behind. She stops what she is doing in embarrassment, then inquires if Vivian is sick. Vivian replies that she is not and says she is only visiting her father. Vivian then insists on giving Will some coins for the vending machine, and also suggests on what particular snack to get before leaving. After hospital duty, Will goes back to her apartment having a sight of her mother waiting for her. Waylan brought so many things with her that Will can't help but make guesses on what is the matter. Will asks non-stop on what is the reason for her mother's moving, but Waylan just keeps on dodging the question. With Will's grandmother's call, the reason is finally known. Waylan is pregnant, and so she got kicked out by Will's grandfather from their house. Waylan instantly becomes the gossip of their community, a pregnancy at an old age, and without a husband. A day later, Will's grandfather expresses his anger at Waylan. On the other hand, Will and her grandmother converse on how they found out about the pregnancy, and on who is the father which Waylan likes to keep to herself, not telling anyone. She is therefore told not to go back in the house unless she presents a father to her child. Back in the hospital, Will finds a note in the vending machine addressed to her. It is from Vivian, inviting her to attend the opening of her show. On the way home, little Yu hands Will not just one bag but two bags of herbs, because the other one is for Waylan's morning sickness. Three weeks later, Will will be seen waiting for Vivian after the show. Vivian is immediately congratulated by her friends, and they also noticed Will from a distance. The friends give Vivian a teasing look before leaving the two of them alone. They go to a clothing store where they talk about Vivian's show, which was about modern dance. They also talk about Vivian's father, who is actually Will's boss which put Will into shock since she thought that Vivian only frequents at the hospital because his father is a patient in there. After showing her nervousness from hearing who Vivian's father is, Will asks Vivian in confusion how come they never met before. Vivian replies that they did meet 19 years ago and reminds Will about that day. The day wherein she kissed Will on the nose after Will saved her from her bullies. Waylan, feeling bored in the apartment, comes out for a walk. She enters a DVD store and although not speaking English, she manages to be directed to its Chinese section. She sees there some erotic films. She shyly walks away but then shortly comes back for it. Will ends up sitting in Vivian's flat. Eventually, Vivian shows her how she teaches kids on how to fall without hurting themselves. Vivian also urges her to try doing it. But because she just can't make herself fall, 
Vivian comes too close to her, leading her to naturally fall. As Will jokingly falls the second time, Vivian joins her on the floor and removes the crumbs in her lips. Will touches Vivian's lips as well. And they soon kiss. Meanwhile, Waylon is back in the apartment watching intently the erotic film she got. Back at the two, Will quietly leaves Vivian sleeping after they make out. At the sound of the door opening, Waylon quickly switches what she is watching into something else. The mother and daughter end their night by eating Chinese noodles in the dark, holding their own secrets from one another. At a clinic where Will escorts Waylon for a checkup, a lady keeps asking her about the pregnancy, thinking that she is the one conceiving a child. She soon receives the attention of all the people in the room after they find out that it is her mother who is pregnant. At night, she and Vivian go out for a walk while talking about her mother's pregnancy. And one morning, Waylon reminds Will not to bring anyone in the apartment as she and her Mahjong friends will play there at night. That day, Will runs in the park to meet Vivian. It is Vivian's birthday, so she asks Will for a birthday kiss. Will is a closeted lesbian unlike her, hence her request gets rejected right away. Furthermore, Will's pager beeps, leading them to part ways again before they can even have a decent conversation. Will just leaves a promise that she will definitely be at Vivian's birthday party to officially meet her friends. Arriving at the hospital, however, she is greeted immediately by six surgeries. Her expectation of leaving for the party becomes eight, then becomes nine, then becomes ten, and at the last minute, Dr. Sheng, her boss and also Vivian's father, even asks her to take over of his pre-op. So when she arrives at the party, everyone is gone home. She sees there the most expensive flower bouquet she sent to Vivian while she was busy with surgeries. Another bouquet of flowers similar to what she sent is also in there. It is from Vivian's father. With those, she realizes that the most important people in Vivian's life were just sending material things to make up for their absence. She calls herself an idiot, then offers to stay the whole night with Vivian. As they are making love, Vivian's mother leaves a voicemail asking if Will showed up. Will is surprised that Vivian is very open about their relationship to her mother. In the morning, Will nags Will for missing the Mahjong party. But Will stops her immediately, telling her to find a husband to nag on. Speaking of husband, Will and her colleagues join forces to set up her mother to every single Chinese man they know. Starting at their patient Mr. Fu, to a very quiet one, to the opposite of the latter, and up to someone who likes dancing too much. Of all those men though, no one clicked with Wei Lan. That she just tells herself she certainly is too old to have a baby. During Will's visit at her grandparents' house, her grandfather told her that he already found a husband for Wei Lan. Although Will thinks the man is not of her mother's liking, her grandfather insists that the man would be a good husband and would give both Wei Lan and the child a decent name. So when Will goes back to the apartment, she talks to her mother about it and encourages her to give the man a chance. At Vivian's flat, while the couple are having a simple sweet time together, Vivian opens up about how she is starting to feel like they are just having an illicit affair, since they never do anything and they never see anyone. She says she wants to see Will's place and meet Will's mother, suggesting to introduce her as only a friend. Despite opposing the idea, Will still brought Vivian in the apartment to meet her mother. While pretending to be Will's friend, Vivian makes good conversation with Wei Lan. At some point though, Will drops food on her lap that Vivian promptly picks up. As simple as that, the real relationship is exposed. Waylon doesn't really want the fact of having a lesbian daughter. So aside from pushing Vivian to date Will's guy neighbor, she also pushes Will to little you. Based on Will's conversation with her neighbor slash friend Jay, her mother knew even before that she is not straight because she was caught by her in her apartment a couple years ago. Her mother just didn't want to accept it and so she started setting her up with guys. Wei Lan finally agrees to go out with Cho, the man whom her father arranged for her to marry. At the park while eating snacks, Vivian removes again a mess in Will's lips. That one of the kids whom she teaches asks them if they are going to French kiss when they go to Paris. 
Turns out that Vivian received an offer of a four-year contract at the Paris Opera Ballet. With teary eyes, Will tries hard to smile and congratulates Vivian for the opportunity. One day, Will finds out that none of her mother's friends showed up at the Mahjong party. It makes her worry about her mother who seems to be so alone in her life due to humiliation. After the talk about Waylan and Cho, Vivian speaks out about her dilemma. She says she wants the Paris contract as it is a professional validation. But she also doesn't want to leave because of what she currently has in New York. Will responds that Paris is a pretty big thing to pass up. Her pager beeps just seconds later and so she runs to work. She finds there her grandfather because her grandmother's lungs are having a problem. Dr. Sheng is the attending doctor of Will's grandmother. While he is talking to them, Vivian suddenly appears. He therefore introduces Vivian to them. Will couldn't pretend any better of not knowing Vivian. So it occurs to Dr. Sheng what is happening. He borrows Will for a moment to frankly tell her that she is the reason why Vivian is dragging her heels on Paris. He explains how important it is for Vivian to take the contract. And Will replies that she understands then leaves. Instead of worrying about her own health, Will's grandmother worries about Waylan's condition. That is why she pleads to Will not to tell Waylan about her confinement. Back at the apartment, Will just keeps on ignoring Vivian's calls and voicemails. Then a couple days later, she breaks up with her. When she goes back home, she finally comes out to her mother. But Waylan is still against her being gay. Minutes later, her pager beeps. When they arrive at the hospital, they learn the sad news. The death of Waylan's mother makes way for her father's forgiveness. It also makes Waylan realize that Cho is indeed a really good man. Because of their last conversation, Will is not invited to her own mother's wedding. At the train station, little Yu hands her again two bags of herbs. He says those are from his father intended for the bride. One of the bags tore revealing what is inside. Will reads the letter in it and from its content, she realizes that it is Little Yu's father whom her mother is in love with. She crashes the wedding to stop her mother from marrying Cho, saying that she should marry the one she loves, which she thinks is all the Yu, not according to her that it was Little Yu all along. After the series of commotions and apologies, the mother and daughter run away. As they ride the bus, Waylan states her plan of moving back with Will. Will, however, stops her in disapproval. They soon talk about their love interests. When Waylan finds out that Vivian is living for Paris, she urgently demands to stop the bus for them to catch Vivian before her flight. At the airport, Will tells Vivian the reasons why she should not fly to Paris. Aside from Will's promise that she will give Vivian enough time after her residency, she tells her that she should pursue her career in modern dance, which she actually likes and not the ballet which only her father likes for her. For what Will said, Vivian challenges her first to kiss her in front of all the people around them. As Will still can't express her love for her openly, Vivian lives in disappointment and proceeds to her flight. Will comes out of the airport and goes to her mother for comfort. Three months later, Will is in haste off to their community's party. Her mother insisted for her to be there for some reason. When she gets there, she finds out why. It turns out that her mother set her up again with someone. And that someone is none other than Vivian. Vivian is shortly taking a break from Paris. Her mother lied to her that Will wasn't going to show up so that she for sure attends the party. Will slowly approaches Vivian to ask for a dance. As Vivian says that she can't, Will thinks she is once again rejected. Until Vivian clarifies that it's because there is no music. They smile at each other and they start dancing. At last, the mother's setup is a complete success. Waylan and little Yu also hit the dance floor, giving their fathers a reason for a headache. Finally, while surrounded by many, Will openly expresses her love for Vivian. They kiss on the lips for a long time, and the film ends. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this summary, you will surely enjoy watching the full film.